The question is, will we have more of the same? Matthew Gillen, our 800 freestyle winner, had a fantastic swim, 750.25, dropping more than three seconds from his entry a few nights ago. Daniel Matheson, who's in second now, was in second in the 800 as well. Will Gallant finished third in the 800s. You got the top three all right next to each other in lanes two, three, and four. Third place at the 50 in the way too soon results is Jake Narvid of Tennessee Aquatics. Fifteen hundred, as we just saw, can't be won in the first half, but it can be lost, and we'll see if this is the right strategy as Galea's out in a 55-65. Matheson out in a 56.80. Galea's best time of 15.10.22, which he swam at the Australian Championships, earning a silver medal on his way to it. And he continues to be very fast. Galea not looking like he's slowing down at all. 155-64 on the way out. Brenniger has responded. He was in third with a 29-8 on that fourth 50. Has moved him into second, a full second behind the leader. Continues to be the case. Matheson has settled in at a 30.0. He's in third, 30.1 for Galea and Brenniger leading the way. Brinegar eating away at that lead ever so slightly. It's down to six tenths of a second. Brinegar finishing fourth in the 800 freestyle. A good swim, 754.88. Four gentlemen under eight minutes in the 800 earlier this week on Wednesday evening. And of course, the fastest of those four continues to be the fastest right now. Galea is a model of consistency, 30.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, and 0.1. Breathe into his right to keep a close eye on Brenniger in lane five. Still a long way to go here, but this is the 400 meter mark. As I mentioned in the women's race, a lot can be learned. 356.66 for Galea in the lead. It's a solid second, faster than he was at the Australian Championships when he went his best, 15-10. 357-19 on the way out for Michael Brenniger. He's about a second and a half to two seconds off of his PR pace, but he's six-tenths of a second behind Kalea right now. Fastest time for the afternoon is owned by Dylan Porzis Avila of the swim team. It was a 15.36.17. And as we did in the women's race, we'll just keep an eye on that, make you aware of any developments that could be coming down as these gentlemen swim. A third of the way through, Galea is still in the lead. The lead is shrinking. It's down to a quarter second. Brenniger's 30.0 heading into the 500 meter mark. That's him point two eight off the lead. A 
A big response there as Galea throws down a 29.7. Huge jump in his pace. First sub 30 split that he has had since the 150 mark. Actually faster than that split. Turns in another sub 30, but Brenniger responds as he splits a 29-7. Out splitting Galea's 29-8. And keeping that gap between the two of them under a second. Eight tenths of a second, the separation between our two leaders here in the men's 1500. Daniel Matheson has just been quietly biding his time there in lane two, but he stayed definitely within striking distance, just under three seconds off the lead. Galea's lead for the first time now consistently over a full second. Berniger now on the quarterback. Here comes the halfway point, 750 meters at this next turn. 15 down, 15 to go. Delay of 726.98 at the 750. And this man continues to surprise. He's basically six seconds ahead of the pace he held at the Aussie Championships. Back in April of this year, when he swam his best time, he keeps up this pace. Could be breaking 15 minutes for the first time in his career. Samuel Short, the Aussie champion. In the 1458 back in April. See what Galea has in store for this July afternoon. Brenniger still in second, still right at the same spot. Back to under a second behind. Brenniger's best time, 15 82 Basically as close as you can get. A long way to swim. And just missed the payoff of breaking 15 minutes. The last pace has slowed slightly, and Brinegar is leveraging the opportunity to try and make the pass here as we come up on 900 meters. Brinegar does exactly that. He's a tenth of a second up, 30.1. Delay a 30.9 on that. Galea hits the accelerator yet again. Back and forth we go. All the while, keep an eye on Daniel Matheson. I know I've said it already, but I'm going to say it again. He's slowly eating into the lead that Galea and Brenniger have. Sitting there in lane two, keeping an eye on him. Five hundred meters to go. Brenniger back in the lead. Matheson now within two seconds of the lead. Matheson is having borderline out of body swim right now. 10.01 at the 1,000 meter mark to be within a few seconds of the lead. 
He's 13 seconds faster than his best time, which he swam almost equaled multiple times, but his fastest is logged at the national championships in this pool. So maybe it's something about Irvine for Daniel Matheson. Now just over a second and a half behind the leaders, the new leader again, Matthew Galea. Spoiler alert, we're gonna have another new leader as we hit the final 400 meters. It's Brenniger again. Hundred and fifty meters to go now. Galea back in the lead. At this point, it almost feels like they're playing a little game. Matheson, the one potentially getting the big advantage out of it, as he's closed to within a second and a half of the lead. Two tenths of a second separate our top two. A second and a half back from them is Matheson, the twenty-year-old from Sun Devil Swimming. Don't even need to say it, but Brenniger is back in the lead once again. Three hundred meters to go. Galea looks like he may have found another gear real quick there. No longer playing games, and that is the case. Twenty-nine six. To Brenniger's 30.7. Two seconds back, Matheson. Like Galea is all of a sudden swimming a different race. 29-6, 29-5. Brenniger is trying to respond. 29-8, heading into the final 200 meters. Matheson still there, but falling behind those lead paces. He's holding a consistent pace. It's just that Galea has decided he's not going to trade the lead any longer. A little bit of a slower split there, 30.1. Galea is definitely on his way to a best time. Could he get under that 15 minute mark? That's gonna be the question. Brunniger and Matheson trying to chase him down, but it looks like they may run out of time. The Aussie's on his way. Splits a 29-4 on that. If he can put that together twice, he's breaking 15 minutes here. A strong finish. Being turned in from Goliath, who at the 1,250 meters, or excuse me, 1,200 meter mark, decided he was gonna swim a 300 sprint. And doing exactly that. 29-2, he's back under that 15-minute pace. He's on his way to break 15 minutes for the first time in his career. You see all his country mates dancing down the side of the pool, having a good old time, and it's a lot of fun to watch somebody accomplish something this fast. 15 minutes is nothing to shake a stick yet. Very, very difficult time to get under. Only 15 Americans have ever done it. Delaya, the Aussie, is going to go a 14.57. Michael Brenniger is going to get under 15 minutes as well. What a great swim there. Daniel Matheson, a 15.01. Margaritas all around because those are some huge swims across the board. Delaya getting under 15 minutes for the first time in his career and dropping 13 seconds from his best to do it. Michael Brenniger. 
came into this meet with a best time of 15.0082. He breaks 15 minutes for the first time in his career, becoming the 16th American in history to do it. And that climbs him to the 14th fastest American man in history in this event. Daniel Matheson goes a 15.0195. He came in with a 15-19.9, that 15.01 makes him the 19th fastest American in history. After coming in, not even in the top 100 before the swim. What a great 1,500 top-seeded final. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause to all of our distance swimmers.